I am pumped, people. I am pumped. We are on our way. Literally, I, I think within a month, I am so pumped. I'm about to just cry. <laughs> Hold on, let me squeeze this here. Get back in that here. <laughs> Throw something behind quick. All right, guys, guess where we're at? We're pulling into R and R Ironworks. So we're gonna show you. This is one of the largest steel truss manufacturers in the whole United States, and I guess you guys are figuring out why we're here because we're desperately in need of something in our farm. And as our farm is growing, and we're dabbling in different things, we're gonna need a building. So I'm hoping we find it here. I'm really excited about this. We're hoping that it's that big. We're looking for something about that big right there. All right, so we're gonna go talk to Justin and see what we can get done, all right? So we don't know if they, they're okay with us filming in here or not, but um, what we're hoping we get to do is know get a building somewhat like that in here we need a building this big because of everything we're going to do we're going to go ahead and park cars in there but not only that but we're going to go ahead and also use it for everything else we're going to use it for processing our meat we'll we'll have different compartments we don't cross contaminate we'll go ahead and clean we'll clean all our um, veggies package our veggies our labels are coming in our bags are coming in and look guys we got new merchandise so make sure you go ahead and order our merchandise all right thank you we have a dually Mm -hmm. we'll in here. Oh, yeah. we'll in here. What do you reckon? Emma, what do you think about this? It's awesome. If we get something like this, I'll have our own space. We'll each have our own space. Yeah, and then we'll just separate it like into spaces for each animal to process. So yeah, originally, the reason I wanted to go 60 was I wanted to close it off at five cars, right? And then put here like a two bedroom, two bath apartment. Me, I'm the kind of guy that would rather save you money and you can always have a lean to one too. And the lean tos you can make them as far as 30 feet. But yeah, we're gonna need something, we need more space. I got a tractor. So here's what here's what I would do. Mm -hmm. I'd go to 34 by 84. Mm -hmm. If you, for instance, say, you wanted the last three bays to be like tractor storage, such as push hog, wow. box blade, hay spear, back all that. You could put it on the outside, but if your other 48 foot of your building, you could still put the same lean to in, but you could close that in and it would add, it, add you more space. For less money, you have to do it all right now. So then we can go 36 by 34, have a thousand square foot apartment right here, and then still have a four car garage here with a lean to in the back. Lean to in the back. It's, it's usually going to be the same. Do they have to take anything down to put it back up? No. They just add it on. They'll add it. There's no added cost in labor or no waste for the field. So if I do, it's in these, you can go up to 30 feet long. Yes. As long as I have the space, right? Yep. As long as you have the space. And I only, I only need about a nine foot clearing. Yeah. I'm 14 foot. We have no slope for it. Right? So. I don't know, but this, this guy's <laughs> making me happy. So a 14 foot eave wall, and if you went a 212 pitch, you would have eight foot, but you could bring the pitch up to a 112. Have. I only have 20 feet to go. Amazing. Okay, okay, okay. And then if I say let's do it, how much do I give you the front? At least half. At least half. Justin was just giving me a little insight on how this whole thing I started. I was just talking to him, talking to him about you know what our beliefs are, why we need the, the farm, 319 farms, and um. So here's Justin. He'll tell you. So, uh, dad at age 46 went to BLT, basic law enforcement training. And we owned an automotive shop, and he wanted to be a police officer for a midlife crisis. And then that didn't really work out because he didn't think it was going to go the way he wanted it. So he come back and he said, "I want to feed children and have a ministry and feed children and women that just can't help or not able to do that." So he come up with a program to try to build these trusses because he said the automotive business just wasn't good enough. So we got into the trusses. We were just selling trusses. Then we got into selling a little bit of wood. Metal, roll for me, and then we started doing building packages. 
couple of ministries and all kinds of stuff all through. Yeah. It's pretty neat. It's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing how God, he's a great choreographer. You never know. You know, his mysteries are only for him to know, but the things that he reveals to us, he's entrusted us to steward it. And that's what we want to do. And he's going to continue to bless, and we'll find joy in that. And in trials, we'll find joy in that too. <laughs> All right, guys. So what do you guys think? I am pumped, people. I am pumped. We are on our way. Literally, I, I think within a month, we're going to have a building like that. I am so pumped. I'm about to just cry. Cry, cry, cry. <laughs> Hold on, let me squeeze the tear. Get back in the tear. <laughs> Throw something in my eye quick. Pepper. <laughs> so now we measure from center to center. And we have roughly about. Yep, we're almost there. So that one we throw out. This no no this this one will go like this. This one will go like this. And this is where the chicken will go. Okay. So we'll use that. We'll use this one for that. Okay. Here, give me here. All right. Well, that's off big time. Yeah, yeah, that's off big time. So we're just experimenting because we're we're trying to get one one way. You know what I'm saying? So now we'll cut one. This table's hot. Tell me about it. Hot like me. Okay. All right, so now this is nine inches long. When I put it in here, in here, okay, it only took me two tries. It's third time's a charm. So you see that when I measure from middle to middle, it's about 10 inches. That's all I need. So now, what I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna need to cut one, two, I think, I gotta cut it. Let me see, we'll find out here. I gotta cut a whole bunch. So let's just lay it here and I'm just gonna cut this one. Nine inches. Nine, 18, 18, 27, 26. Okay? Let's go here. So these are all nine inches long, okay? Because I want the birds about 10 inches apart, you know? It's super hot. Today's the hottest day of the year so far here in North Carolina. We're at 91 degrees. The heat index is roughly about 98. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about here, okay? Okay, so it'll be like this. I wish it'll be straight. It won't be crooked. Okay. Now, I'm going to try to go as fast as I can so that, you know, you guys can see. And this will be our rack. So this is going to be a drying rack for all the birds. And we have to go ahead and cut five more pieces and we're done. Done, done, done? Done, done, done. No, not done, 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 but close to done, done, done. Done, 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 done. Here we go, guys. This is how easy it is, okay? One, ten. <laughs> All right, we'll leave this for later, just All right, and there you have it. Look at this, guys. So you have this here, okay? I'm working out the kinks on it. This is the best, best way. I could have gone with maybe one down the middle right here and, and have like a real nice one or even, even, I could, you could do all kinds of different things with PVC. So I got a total of um, these three, I don't know what you call these, but there's, there's a right angle, it's a three-way. This is three quarter inch PVC pipe, okay? And then I got one, two, three, four. Um, I think I got 10 of them, I'm not sure. Okay, but, um, we'll count them here in a minute. And that gives me enough for 10 birds. And as you can see, it doesn't take that much table space. I can even go down the middle right here and put, you know, put two more here. You know, 
but um, we'll see how it goes. I can always I can always make adjustments. It's it's modular, so you can just take it apart and, and um, you know just work with it. That's the cool thing about this stuff. You don't need to be an expert unless you want to make it look pretty and you want to patent it and, and mass produce it. You don't need to make it look pretty. I mean, as you can see, mine's not, but it's practical. Guys, it's practical, and I'm just trying to show you guys. You know take you guys on a journey with our family and then also give you guys encouragement to, to show you that you know I'm no I'm not a construction guy or GC or general contract or anything like that but I have common sense and with that comes this now you get to see it look at that, look at that. it's coming together I think you guys get the point now how far do we want the birds? We have 10 here, right? We're gonna cut them 11 inches. I think 11 inches, I'm not sure yet. So, how big are the birds? The birds are gonna be about, yeah, we want them, we probably want them just a little bit. Let's measure this. This is 13, so what I do, again, I've never done this before, so I wanna measure here. So we wanna go that far. So we're gonna go 12 inches. So we cut them a foot long. Let's see how it looks. Okay. Is that too tall, guys? I don't know. Yeah, I think that's good. And then what happens is we don't get guts and stuff like that. We put... Dang it, I got the wrong ones. So you guys get the point. This goes here. All right? So you see I made a mistake. Big mistake. Big mistake. <laughs> this is an inch. I need to do so anyways, this goes like that. So you got it? Got it. We need nine more at a foot. I got a guy, David, awesome guy at Lowe's, who basically is my partner in crime. I come up with a concept in my head. I take my weird jacked up napkin drawings and he makes it happen. He should have gone to school for engineering. Because I take him all my ideas and then he says, watch this, this is what you need. And then he gives it to me. Except for this one time, he gave me an inch caps and I need three quarter inch caps, that's all. And sometimes, you know, the people there at the store, the customers, you know, misplaced things. So they might've been on that. So anyways, David is my man, I love him. He does awesome for me, and he is Johnny on the spot. Who taught you how to make this? I didn't. I just saw a lot of, I saw a lot of groups on Facebook post different ones. There's some that have like crosses, some that are attached to stuff and all that. And I just came up with this one because this one's easy. I don't need a drill. All I need is a saw. You don't even need a jigsaw. There you have it, boys and girls. I'll put the caps on so you see the concept behind it. Post a picture on our Facebook page. See that? Voila, what do you guys think? It only takes about this much space on a six foot table. Imagine when I have this and I'll have an eight foot table here. We'll be able to process, put them here and go to work. I think I might even put one in the middle, across the middle here, a four way, and go ahead and just put one, you know, Two more here, and I'll have a nice rack with all the chicken can be drying. I gotta go back and return these. So. Thank you guys. Please subscribe. Please share. Especially now, um, I'm learning about al algorithms and all that. Please like. Um, it helps us out. It's just it's very um, it's a morale boost because you know it's, it's it's hard work. There are a lot of hours put into this. Now it, you know it, it, before we YouTube, it looks so easy. When we looked at YouTube, now it's um. But we, we enjoy it, we like it. Um, I mean, people are always up to date to what we're doing. So, I thank you guys. Again, please subscribe, follow us, comment, give us ideas. All right?